The Beavers football team is ready to take on the big boys this week as they hit the road to take on 11th ranked Minnesota Duluth, who have beaten the Beavers the last 16 times. One of the most successful groups this year has been the offensive line for the Beavers. Now they've used four backs to lead the nation in rushing, and as quarterbacks, they've only been sacked twice all season long. That could come as a surprise as the unit locked, lost Jake Krause and Brandon Schindler last year, who both saw NFL interest. A lot of people interest. were wondering, you know, how good was this group going to be? And we knew that we had talent, and just the chemistry with these guys has really just been special. Those two guys that we lost last year were, were phenomenal football players and, and probably two of the best that will ever have played here. But that's, uh, if you're going to build a, a program that has some longevity, you got to have kids that are going to step up and fill those roles and, and continue to progress. So I've been fortunate to have that. But losing Alt and you know having a new guy in there, it, it doesn't change much for what we do. We know that we're going to run the ball, and that pretty much determines how our offense is going to be. If we can't run the ball, then we're going to struggle. So good luck trying to stop the run. Definitely the toughest yeah. test they face this year. Should be a good matchup. Should be a great matchup. And they're number one in the, in the country rushing, is that right? Yep, and well, in scoring offense so well, far this season. All right, hopefully they get it done tomorrow. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.